there any uh, parents in the crowd? Clap your hands if you got kids. <laughs> Just 10 tired ass, depressed people <laughs> trying to forget about their shitty kids. <laughs> Clap your hands if you don't have kids. Watch this. Look at that. Look at their faces. Look at everyone. You know, what th you know what that look is? That's the look of freedom. That's the look of no fucking responsibilities to get home to. You got nothing, right? What's your biggest responsibility in the world, dude? Uh, maybe getting to work. Maybe getting to work. You don't even give a fuck, dude. <laughs> Who fucking cares, right? What do you do? What's your, what, what's your job? You work in a machine shop. Nobody cares about your job. <laughs> they don't give a fuck about you. Dude, quit right now. Call your boss right now on my special and quit your job. How great would that be? If I inspire this guy. Do you love your job? Do you love it? Is this what you want to do for the rest of your life? Then fucking quit it. Let's quit your fucking job. I mean it. Is he on now? You gotta call him right now. What's his name and what's your name? My name's Mike. Connor. All right, call Connor. Here, give me the phone. I'm gonna call him for you. Everyone's gotta be quiet. Shut the fuck up. Hey, it's Mike. Hey, man, I ain't coming to work tomorrow. Huh? I said I ain't fucking coming to work tomorrow. All right. Mike, you couldn't be any more unwanted. <laughs> Look, and now your hot girl is gonna leave you because you don't got a job. It's the only reason you got this chick, too. I was like, I ain't coming. He was like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you are replaceable, Mike. That's fucking nuts. Do you got a pet at home? People got pets, they think that's like a big deal. I had a dog before I had a kid. I don't give a fuck about that dog anymore. <laughs> you have a kid, that shit all changes. Each one of your pets gets bumped down a level of importance, you know? Like your dog becomes a cat, your cat becomes a gerbil. <laughs> your gerbil becomes a goldfish. Like I'll flush a, a gerbil down the toilet for looking at me wrong. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about a gerbil, you know? Look, it'll change your perspective on everything when you have kids, you know? Like, what's more important to you on a person of the opposite sex? Like, a good-looking face or a hot body? What do you guys say? Hey, hey, all, the, all the young guys say body. They're like, body. put a fucking bag over her head, bro. <laughs> face down, ass up, motherfucker. Very immature, young guys. Very immature. I say face, I'll tell you why, because you got to think about this. If you're with a woman, you might have a baby with her one day. If you have a baby with this woman, you want to make sure your baby has a cute face. Nobody cares about your baby's body. <laughs> Nobody's like, my baby's got a whatever face, but his body is fucking sick. <laughs> you gotta see this baby's body, it's crazy. Takes his shirt off, he's got pecs, abs. He's got that V-cut right there, where's his diaper real low. <laughs> the baby is shredded. My son's really cute too. My son's like the cutest kid in the world. I, th I really believe that, but let me tell you something, I think that's a trick of nature. I think every parent sees their kid as being the cutest kid in the world, you know? Because it makes you want to take care of him more. Like a cute baby, you're like, come here, you cute little baby. If you had an ugly baby, you're like, ew, get the fuck away from me, you gross, <laughs> big-headed baby. Fix your lip. <laughs> Let me give you an idea how cute my son is. All the parents in the crowd, imagine your babies. Imagine the first time you saw your newborn baby. First time you laid your eyes on that gorgeous, precious little angel, okay? Now, what I want you to do is imagine a baby 15 times as cute. That's my son. <laughs> My son's so cute that if he got molested, I'd be really upset, but I'd still have to be like, okay, that pedophile had great taste in children. <laughs> Undeniable. That guy fucking nailed it. No, he was good. Like, you should have to choose the Gerber baby from a cell every year. 
Yeah, his mother didn't like that one either. I gotta be honest with you guys. <laughs> yeah, me and his mother, uh, we're co-parenting now, or as I call it, fighting over the phone. And, uh... <laughs> it's hard, but it's good. We're getting along now. We're both dating other people. She started dating a, a black guy right after me. Um, yeah, and... It... <laughs> <laughs> My sentiment, exactly. <laughs> I got upset. I got upset because she started dating a black guy. And she got mad at me because she's like, you're racist. And I'm like, I'm not racist. I am not racist. It has nothing to do with this man's color of his skin, okay? It's his big black cock. I can't get it out of my head. It's killing me inside. It's probably killing her inside, too, to be honest. I don't want to get too scientific, but, you know, she feels it. I'm out there dating, too. Um, you know, I got a girlfriend. I was single for a while, though, and I was having a lot of unprotected sex. I, uh, I won't wear a condom. It's fucking crazy, dude. It's nuts. I can't wear a condom. It's so boring. It's like, it's like my dick is reading a book. I won't do it. <laughs> we just get to the end of this already. I'm bored. You know? And women will just pull out condoms now out of their purse. It's, it's a different time, 2018, because the old tricks don't work. The old trick was like, you pretend you forgot a condom, then you try to make her horny anyway. <laughs> Can I do it? <laughs> Can I do it now? <laughs> but women have condoms on them now. They fucking pull it out. I know another trick, though. You know what you do if a woman pulls a condom out of her purse? You open it up, and then you flick it in her eye like a rubber band. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the night in jail. It's hilarious every time. I don't give a shit. It's very funny. I tell the cops, I'm like, tell me it's not funny, officer. Tell me it's not funny. <laughs> like, it's funny. Get in the car. What's everyone worried about, right? Herpes, that's a big one, right? Clap your hands if you have herpes. <laughs> really, New York City, really? <laughs> the numbers are out there, okay? What is it, it's one out of how many? That guy has herpes. <laughs> that's a test. If they know the facts and figures, just fucking know uh, why, what do you got, a pamphlet? What do you know? What do you know, sir? <laughs> if you get herpes, what happens? You start dating other people with herpes, right? I feel like I can get an okay chick in general population. I feel like I can get a way hotter chick in the herpes population, you know? <laughs> I'm fucking in herpes nines and tens all day, dog. They're damaged. Are you kidding me? And there's gotta be an app for that. There's gotta be like a herpes harmony or <laughs> warts app. Or if you're a little older and trying to stay discreet, Rashley Madison. 